Hi friends. So today I'm showing you around the house. I switched out my fall decor for Halloween and we're making some pumpkin cake. So I have really scaled back my Halloween decor, believe it or not. These are my inflatables, holy and corny. For anyone that's new, we just moved from California to Texas and in California, our neighborhood was really crazy and we had a ton of trick-or-treaters. So every house went all out. I'm scaling back and yes, for me, this is way pared down. I just really need to simplify and I still enjoy the seasons and decorating for it so I kept all my favorite pieces but with the move I have been able to scale down and I simplified I downscaled I just need life to be easy these days so I'm down to one bin of my favorite things and then we're gonna head inside I have so much to share with you guys some new furniture <laughs> some furniture that's now gone and some new decisions in paint color and in hardware so if you've been with me for a while the last few years when i've decorated for halloween you'll know this is nothing compared to what i normally do i did some really cute things in the kitchen i'm going to show you guys here in a second but that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do some at the entryway and then i'm going to concentrate my decorating for seasonal items one little space in the living room i'll show you guys that may or may not be new Christmas decor and a lot in the kitchen. So do you remember there was a massive hutch here during my fall tour? I can't do it, you guys. In this house, it just doesn't look right. So I sold it. I know it's crazy. Just wait till we get to the kitchen. You'll see how crazy I am. We did buy a faux fireplace. All that to say, there's gonna be a lot of changes. We're actually gonna be doing some built-ins and some construction and things like that. But I thought this would be really fun, especially during the holidays. I bought it a few months ago and realized I wasn't a hutch person, so I sold the hutch. Here it sits. I'm thinking of painting it, not sure yet. That is Poco. He thinks he is the star of the show today. So we're planning on doing quite a bit this weekend. This guy thinks that he can just get in front of the camera anytime he wants. And my husband and I made a trip to Lowe's. We prepped, there's gonna be a lot of exciting things and changes in this room. So you guys remember I just shared the new furniture for this room. Well, there is new furniture in another room now. So this is where we're going to be painting this weekend. And over here in the great room, we got some new furniture. So I got some temporary pieces when we first moved secondhand off Facebook Marketplace. But after living in the space, oh my goodness, he's such a spaz all of a sudden. I wanted to really live in the house and then figure out what was gonna work. So now that I have the master plan, I went ahead and bought some pieces. Now these are much more of a creamy white. They're actually listed as beige. They're from Costco, they're leather, and I felt like they balanced really well. I do have a recliner that we picked up at Ashley and then a matching ottoman. So I do have some warmth in the space. There's going to be a lot on the opposing wall. So I'm going to take you in the kitchen and show you how I decorated. I'm loving having this island and space to do a little decor. So I decorated my three tier stand. You guys know I did full out candy store for Halloween last year. This year it scaled back quite a bit. Just a couple lanterns. I filled up a jar I meant to put ghost eyes and a mouth on with the marshmallows didn't get to that and the world is still spinning I also used a lot of my faux foods that I've made in the last few years my faux candy apples and cupcakes and it's just really fun and cute so here my daughter's taking floral design and she made this little pumpkin and here's another example of how crazy I am right now that's the centerpiece from the table that used to be here so we've lived here for four months and we're on our third table, people. Yeah, more on that to come. So this is the little centerpiece I made for the table. We literally just sold it and you guys didn't even see it. It's literally the second one we've had and now there's a third one coming in in the morning. So I just put a few things that I love on it and it's easy to remove because I'm crazy and indecisive right now. But I am enjoying decorating, especially in the kitchen, and I like having little places. I never really had that in our last house. So I'm enjoying using all of the faux foods that I've made through the last few years. 
just kind of fun to look over here and have a little bit of the season on the counter. Things I normally would put in a hutch, but now I can actually display them, seen in my kitchen. And I'm using things to hide all the outlets and you guys will see that. So this is my little corner and how I'm hiding that outlet. I'm gonna try and not get you dizzy and turn, show you guys the other side of the kitchen so I can show you how I'm decorating on that side. Now in our last house, this was the amount of counter space I had to prep in, just this little space. I didn't have that or the island, so I have, no joke, easily 10 times the amount of counter space we had in our last home. I never understood people who had stuff on their counters, and now I get it because I have room to. So I'm hiding an outlet behind that tray, and there's actually one behind this sign. Love these candy corn. I bought them last year. Did have some fruit here, but it got gobbled up. So now let's get into the cake. I'm gonna show you guys this. It is delicious. You're gonna to wanna to make it. It is so easy. It's fail proof. And be sure to stay through the end of making the cake because I have something that is extremely scary to share with you guys in honor of Halloween. So I'm actually making this into pumpkin loaf and this is, if not as good, better than the one at Starbucks. No joke. It is actually a cake, but we all know that loaves are just cakes that they divide it up into loaf pans so you're going to need two cups of pumpkin you're going to need one cup of oil one and two thirds cup of sugar and four eggs yes this is not meant for the health conscious it is something i started making because my husband is not a fan of pie so during the holidays i make pumpkin cake instead of pumpkin pie so you're going to cream those wet ingredients together and then in a separate container, you're gonna to wanna to have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. This is very important. You're gonna need two of those. I thought I was out, so I'm so glad I found it in the back of my cupboard. You're also gonna need one teaspoon of baking soda. So two powder, one soda. It's very important because it's very rich and needs to rise. And you're also gonna need a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons. I do heaping teaspoons if you haven't noticed, especially when it comes to the cinnamon. That's it, you add your dry ingredients in and you just mix it until it looks well blended. So in the meantime, I'm gonna share with you guys a few things I've been working on behind the scenes. We're gonna be doing some painting. Green is in my future and I finally have picked out my hardware for the cabinets. This is like my third attempt. I never would have realized how many decisions we'd have to make once we moved in. So here is a look at the finished cake. So I did do some for gifts and then I did one in a loaf pan for us. Now you could make one large nine by 13 cake and then make some really yummy cream cheese frosting for it. I'm doing loaf, here's a bite for you. Now as promised, my deepest, darkest, scariest moment. I know it's very scary, I'm sorry. I had to share it with you guys and come clean. It's our guest room and I hope it cleans itself. It's full of decor and purchases. I don't want anyone else to see. Yet another new thing I'm learning in our new home. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I've been up to behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween.